tutorial wish all you are well in this tutorial i am going to discuss about plc i will start discussion with block diagram explanation then i will discuss about different modules and their functions in plc ultimately i will discuss how plc works with explanation of scanning features entering into the discussion please subscribe it will encourage me to prepare more and more important tutorials this is block diagram representation of PLC. Main section of PLC are CPU, input output module and programmer. Input module and output module, this consists of input output section. The input section converts the field signal by the input devices and sensors to logic level signal that the PLC CPU can read. The processor section reads these inputs, process the signal and prepare the output signal as per the program. Output section converts the logic level output signal coming from the processor section to high level signal and used to actuate various output field devices. The programmer or monitor is used to enter the user program into memory and to monitor the execution of the program. Different field devices are connected with input module. Signal come from these field devices and ultimately this input module converts that field signal into the logic level signal and send it to the processor. The processor process those signals and execute the program and as per the program it ultimately produces particular output signal. That output signal ultimately actuates the different actuators by using the output module. There are different input sensors like push button switch, liquid level switch, limit switch, pressure switch. There are different types of output actuators like motors, solenoid, speaker, light, etc. CPU is the brain of PLC. It consists of processor and memory. Processor reads the information that is the status of input devices through the input module. Stores the information in memory for further use. Processor carries out different mathematical and logic operations as specified in application program. After execution the user program, processor writes the result values in the memory. Then it sends data to the external devices through output module. And by this, output devices or output hardwares are actuated. Processor performs communication with different external peripherals and external devices. It also has facility of self-diagnostics. It checks is there any hardware or software fault in the PLC. Memory in PLC stores information about different control programs and status of all the input and output devices. Status means whether the input devices are logic 1 or logic 0 as well as what will be the output status means whether the output or field devices will be activated or not activated. For this purpose memory uses the addressing system means status of every field devices will be stored in a particular address of memory location. So that address is actually indicate the field device, whether it be input device or it be output device. Some address contains the information about the status of particular field device and other addresses might be the data and data are the result of different control program computation. According to the functions, memory might be input output image memory, data memory, user memory and executive memory. Input output image memory mainly consists of the status of input and output devices. Data memory holds the result of different computation, different uh, arithmetic operations. User memory mainly holds user defined programs and executive memory mainly for the operating system of the PLC. This is one example of CPU Siemens Mac. Here we can see this is DC 5 volt. When there is 5 volt DC, a LED is normally indicated here. That indicates that yes, there is a power supply in this CPU. FRC, this mainly gives the indication when the inputs might be forced. This run and stop. If the CPU or PLC is run mode, LED is indicated here. And the CPU is stop mode, then on LED is indicated here. Here run, stop and memory reset. This is a switch. Using this switch, we may make PLC run or we may stop it. We may reset all the memory. In PLC, input output modules along with the rack system is normally defined as input output system. 
The input output systems are directly connected with the field devices and this input output system are just like arms and legs whereas the CPU is normally considered as brain of the PLC. Physically, this input output system carries out the control commands to and from the program stored in the PLC's memory. Input output modules along with rack system is normally termed as input output system. The rack is an enclosure with slots in it that is connected with the CPU. Input modules are devices with connection terminals to which the field devices are normally wired. These input modules are placed into the slots in the rack. Together with the rack and the input output module forms the interface between the field devices and the PLC. So, this whole system creates the physical connection between the field equipments and the PLC. In some PLC, this system having in a single package and it forms a single unit. Along with the function of taking data from the field and also sending data to the field, this input output modules have functions like signal conditioning, signal isolation and signal indication. Next, power supply. Power supply provides power to CPU and all the electronics accessories or electronic circuits like all input output modules and all interface modules. Input output modules and processor have DC voltage and that is normally 24 volt DC. So the power supply module must have the facility of filtration and it regulates the DC voltage to ensure proper power supply to CPU and other accessories. Power supply module converts the high level AC signal voltage to various operational DC voltage. Normal supply voltage is 120 or 240 volt AC. Now usable voltage for the case of CPU or other input output modules needs normally 24 volt DC. So the function of this power supply module no doubt have the facility to provide this 24 volt DC. How PLC works? This is a simple diagram describes the working of PLC. In PLC, all the inputs from the fields are read and their status are stored into the data memory. After that, the data is transferred to the application program and processed there. Then the data memory is updated and the finally, the outputs are executed and field actuators are activated. At the time of execution, PLC scans the full program. The scanning process is a sequential and repetitive process. It has three basic tasks. Evaluate or monitor the input, process or execute the application program, and then execute the output. The full process from this evaluation to execution of output is termed as scan in PLC. Scan time is the total time that it takes for the PLC to complete one full scan cycle. The scan time is universally expressed in millisecond. For better understanding or explanation of scanning in PLC, I have used here scanning in ladder diagram. During PLC scanning, the rungs of the application program are processed from left to right and from top to bottom. The CPU continually updates the status of each inputs and outputs and internal variables in the data memory but only execute the outputs at the end of PLC scan. So scanning starts from the left of first rung of the program. It scans all the inputs and outputs. Then it comes to second rung. It scan all the inputs and outputs like this. When it will complete total rung in a particular program, then only it executes the output means it sends the output status or output logic to the 
output field devices for action. I have discussed here about block diagram explanation of PLC. What is the function of CPU? What is the function of different input output modules? What is the function of programmer? How PLC works? What is scan time? And how scanning in PLC is normally happened? In next tutorial, I will discuss what are the different languages are normally used in PLC operation. Please subscribe, put your comments and queries in comment section.